Okay, now it's time for us to hop into our uh, our little mountain core block here. Uh, just want to say thank you very quick to Rocket Jack Jump, the developers, for providing the key for today. And uh, looking been looking forward to playing the game, so we're going to just go ahead and fire it right up here. And um, now, just as a disclaimer, this is not a sponsored stream. They did just provide me the key to play on stream and to evaluate, make content with. So, again, thank you for doing that. Now, for anybody who's wondering about uh, Mountain Core, it's sort of a cross between like Rim World, Dwarf Fortress, and uh, a couple other things. Now, this game also has a Twitch integration. I like to do Twitch integrated games too. So, um, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to turn this on. And um, what this allows to do is that it will pull the names of the settlers from chat. So, if anybody hears in chat, just type in something real quick. And then what will happen is at um, some point uh, it'll like draw names from it. So I'm not exactly 100% sure how it works because I haven't tried it yet. So we'll see. We'll see how it works. Yeah. So yeah, view, use viewers as settler names. And if anybody's a sub, they'll get priority over that. So um, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm looking forward to doing this part because I haven't, um, I haven't played uh, a game like this on stream before, so this is going to be fun for everybody here. I'm planning on doing this for roughly for the for the block today. We're going to do it for roughly about an hour to an hour and a half. So, um, yeah. And so I don't know. Again, I don't know exactly how this is going to work. I couldn't. I I didn't look up any documentation for it, so we're going to be playing about here here. But yeah, um, let me actually turn the music on because uh, it will turn on like right about there. Okay, and everything else is set. All right. So I have been fiddling around with this. Like I said, from what I've been told, like it's uh, a cross between mountain, uh, about a cross between Rim World and Dwarf Fortress. And a little bit of another game called Dungeon Keeper, which I've never played. Um, but in my setup of everything, like I said, it's not a game of a game style I've played before, but my setup of everything, it took me a couple of tries. I'd look up a video uh, from somebody else who played the game to kind of understand how to start. Because I started in places and it's like I felt like I wasn't doing something right. And my progress wasn't working. I figured out a couple of little details along the way about like not over overbuilding and stuff really. We'll get into a little bit more of that in a sec here. We're going to start a new game. Um, and I'm going to give this a proper name. So we're going to call this Gabarg Land. <laughs> because why not? And I'm going to do, I've been told the medium map's the best one to use, but because I really don't know what I'm doing yet, I'm going to use the small map. Alright, so one of the things here I was told, um, I, you know, looking at videos and some other stuff, like one of the things I, I was seeing was like, you want to kind of like look at the map real quick and um, before you select the starting location and see if there's like, you want to have a cave network, but you don't want to go too far into it because there could be monsters to spawn. I haven't played that far to know for sure, but uh you want to be by the river. You want to have access to some trees. And you want to be by like a cave network like this. So I don't have a whole lot of trees over here. This map actually does not have any trees it looks like. But they're all down here. Okay, so the trees are down here. Okay, so we got a couple of mushrooms. I'm told like some of these mushrooms can kill you. You kill your settlers and stuff. So I gotta be careful with that. There seems to be some copper or something down here so we got some mining opportunities here um got some trees here to start with that's not a whole lot of wood I, this map hasn't given me a whole lot of wood there's very little trees now it's pulled not to, also to not to clear cut the forest to give it a chance to grow back so one of the things we, i gotta learn about is to uh Make sure I don't overdo things, because I think that was a problem I was having. I was kind of like overdoing things. But this seems to be a good spot. Um, 
I'm going to put my dwarves like right here. I think that'll be good. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put them there. All right, so um, we're gonna pause the game here. Yeah, okay, oh, yeah, that's copper. Elfsbane, purple helmet. Melatonia. <laughs> Ro <laughs> Rossio Mycota? Okay. Yeah, so you could be, I was told you pause the game and do this. So yeah, limestone, copper, copper. There's a lot of copper in here. There's a butt ton of copper in here, but not a whole lot of slot. Uh, wild animals. There's a hunting mechanic in this game, but I haven't been able to trigger it yet. I just don't know if I hadn't been far enough in the game. But, um... I was told that there's elephants. That yeah, you do see elephants in the game. I was told not to mess with them, no matter what, <laughs> until very, very later. Basically, when I have enough people to like take down an elephant. So yeah, these things right here. I was told never to mess with them. <laughs> um. Yeah, so we got a couple of trees here, and the trees all have different names too. Though you know, it's like oak tree. Ironwood tree. So. And all the settlers down here. Let's see. <laughs> I like this. It's pulling oh, one of them. That's interesting. Oh, look. I got Smeddy and uh, Chico. Uh, I don't know who these people are. I think these are like bots that are in the chat or something. I don't know. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. It does draw from people who's just like lurking in chat and stuff. <laughs> but I like that Chico and Smeddy were both lurking in here. <laughs> the game called you out, Rose. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so what do we got? Let me see. We have just a plain hauler here. Um, we got a farmer, another farmer, a cook, a carpenter, and a woodcutter, the miner, the blacksmith. And the stonemason. So we've got two miners. We've only got one woodcutter. So let's see. My hauler here is going to be a woodcutter. Um, and let's see. My farmer here. Everybody should be a hauler at some point, I think. But maybe not. So let's see. Um... Make you the fisher. And I need another chef. No, well, well, let's see. I'll make you the backup chef. Hey, Trip, how's it going, man? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I think we're good right now. All right, so the thing I want to do is I want to clear all this mess out. Uh, let's see, we're going to give orders first. So let's see, we're going to clear all these shrubs out. Just because I, they don't need to be in the way. Um, clear these shrubs. And then for tree chopping, I, I don't want to cut all of them down, so I'm going to just take the big ones. And so I was, like, I was told, like, if I can, to try to chop them down, like, every... Like, leave some... Leave some... Leave some spaces after I'm done chopping them. Just take care of these ones. And, uh... Alright. Go ahead and resume time. Let that go. And, uh... Gotta be careful of mining, because you don't want to, like, completely blow out a tunnel or something. So we'll just take this very small stack right here.
And I'm not gonna touch the mushrooms yet. I forgot we didn't get that one. Alright, so I gotta make some stock oh I gotta clear these too. So I was told living in here is actually probably one of the best things to do. This isn't like a normal like the way I used to do games where I kind of like play a blind I actually got help this time because I want to make sure I did everything correct. All right, so let's see. Um, we need to make a stockpile to so we gotta make a stockpile room to put our stuff in. So let's see here. We'll put like a stockpile room like right here. Can I actually put a stockpile room here? No. Is it? No? I just can't put anything in here? Is that it? Yeah. Alright, so we gotta put a stockpile room somewhere. I'm gonna put it like right here then. We'll do it. Hello? Oh, that's right, because I'm not picking. It, don't mind me. Uh, yeah, okay. Harumph, harumph, harumph. Alright, we'll do that. <laughs> harumph, harumph, harumph. And I gotta put a bedroom in here. Let's see. I gotta give them a place to sleep. Uh, it doesn't need to be super big. Actually, that's, that's actually too big. Uh, so right now we'll just make it a 4x3 and give them just places to sleep. See, what they'll do is, like, if you make a specific place for them to put stuff, they'll put, like, their tools here, so they don't leave them laying around. Um, okay, so let's clear these bushes here, too, just to make sure i am got my bases covered. And I gotta make some farms right away so I can start cooking food. So let's see what we got. Carrots planted in the spring. We'll do that. Then we'll make another. I make it six or seven. Oh. Alright, let's six by three, okay. Uh plant the corn. Plant some potatoes. Then plant some tomatoes. There we go. Get those get those crops going. And let's see. Put a little place here for my seeds. I gotta put a big stockpile somewhere for all that copper I've got. What is it? Raw materials? And we're gonna do like this. So I hear all that wood and stone that I've got and copper and everything, they'll move it in there. Now you can also like warp speed them, make them go faster if you want. So yeah. Actually that's not horrible right there. Okay. 
get rid of all the shrubbery. Now you can change the priority of things too, so you can force them to work on something that um, you feel like is more important, but you have to be careful with it because there's only so much you can put a prio on. Uh, and also, you gotta be careful because you don't want the mines collapsing on you. So you do have to like build pillars and stuff once in a while. Just do a couple of odd mines here. And the people who are tasked like with specific things, they'll work, they'll focus on those things. And everybody else doesn't have a job otherwise. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. So yeah, like the miners will eventually pop over here and start mining. Let's see, I gotta build a kitchen and a feasting hall so they'll eat. Um, okay. Yes, yeah, so I'll actually build that. I'll build the kitchen. Now, the thing is, too, like, you can build, like, kitchens and only have, like, a space for, like, water buckets in certain places. So, one of the things I, I learned was, like, you can cheese it by putting just a water bucket in a place that, and mark it as a kitchen. And so, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to go kitchen. Do water bucket. And then we're going to set the priority to this. We'll set that like highest priority. So that they'll put that in right away. And they should always keep the bucket full. And this will at least allow them to drink water so they don't have to run all the way out here to grab water. Let me see here. Um... Now, I do want to mine this, but I want to be careful, so... Because collapses and fires and things are a real hazard in this game, so... Build a couple of pillars there. Means I have to probably mine a little bit more. Get some more stone. So we'll take that part out there. You see right there how everybody's just drinking from the barrel instead of running all the way to the river to drink. Very, very important. Saves a lot of time. Don't have enough stone. I don't think. Alright. Stone Mason Bench. And a sawmill.
And the people will work on stuff as as they go, so like and we'll just chop that up. Do that. And we'll clear some spaces here. I don't know what the support limit on pullers is though. Like how far they go out. There was nothing in the game I could see that would explain it to me. Working in the rain. They're upset with that. Okay, so import. Uh, rough stone. And export. Stone blocks. And... I need to make another stockpile for the stuff that I've made. I'll do that. I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger. Uh, what's this? What the hell? I mean to do that. Okay, so they're sleeping on the ground, but they're not sleeping in the rain. So that means that's under, that's like, cave, okay. I do want to make a proper kitchen, but right now I think I'm okay. Alright, so let's see. A little bit more mining. I'll just dig out that line there. And just to be safe, because like I said again, I don't know how this works with the uh, the mines and stuff. I'll put another pillar right there. And here we're going to import logs and create planks. I like watching them work. They're pretty cool, like they got all the little animations for what they're doing. Can I actually build a lantern? So what happens if I tell ask them to build a lantern and will they actually do it? I've got copper here, but I don't know if they have the ability to like turn it into anything. down that tree and that tree I don't want to overdo it with the trees like I said I want see there's some sprouts already starting to pop in so they are coming back in I just got to make sure they don't over I don't overdo it Let's see yeah Make a kitchen here.
then the fish barrel. I don't know why I would need to import and export pallet for here, but... Let's see what happens. I'm just going to put them in, but I'm not going to use them just yet. Now the thing is, so like I do know like certain things, if you keep everything outside and uncovered, eventually like the rain can damage stuff like that, so... Oh, they did actually make the lantern. A little tin lantern, nice. We have we have light down there. Isn't that special? Alright. I think it's safe to mine out this part. I'm going to put another water barrel up here, too. Alright. Here we got carrots planted there. What did I... Potato, corn, tomatoes. This place bigger so the table will fit. And we'll do that. Make a feasting hall. So here they'll have some place to eat. Although if it's raining, they're going to be eating out in the rain, so I don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Find some more stone there. Yeah, I mean, this game's kind of like, this game's sort of kind of mellow, so there's a lot of just planning and stuff like that, so you can speed it up if you want to, but I've got it set on max speed right now. I could, like, actually, I'll set it back on, what was it, that had it on two right here. Make that a little bit larger. Yes, we don't really have any... There's logs over here to be gathered still. I'm using the stone to build stuff just because it's easier. I can get stone more than wood right now, so... There's a lot of copper. I might have to make another, like, facility just to, like, work on the copper. Hmm. 
Is there anything out here, really, that I can do right now? No. I just have to focus on this part. I might make a third miner then. Let's see. Yeah, we'll we'll make a third miner out of this one. Chop down some more rocks here. Alright, man. Do that. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, the trees are definitely kind of like, I gotta be careful with chopping them down. There's a bajillion copper there. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do next. I think I'm just slowly trying to just expand. I was told the biggest thing was to try to get some food going. food stock pop. I'm actually going to put it in here. I'm actually going to put the food stock on there so I can keep the food dry. I hope that's the way it works. Import, I can only import malt or wheat. Uh. So I really can't do anything with that. So all this does is I can like export stuff. Yeah, it's not really. Where do I get the fish? So I got the fisher. I don't know how to actually force fishing. If that's even a thing. Got rock bread rations. Let's see. Let me make a trading depot. I do know the traders do show up once in a while, so I'm going to make a trading depot just to make sure I got myself covered there. Slowly but surely, right?
mine out the next section here. if it's possible for me to be able to plant trees. God, my freaking wagon got set on fire. Hard wagon destroyed by fire. Oh lord. I hope that's not a bad thing. Yeah, it's like a little like dwarf horse, just a little rim world and a little dungeon keeper, from what I'm told. I haven't I, I've I played it a few times and I've only played it through a few days because I had trouble figuring out how to play it. I actually had to like look up YouTube videos. But right now I'm just kind of like muttering through it and hoping these elephants don't decide to like... I wonder what caught, the, caught that on fire. I'm kind of disappointed by this. But I'm also trying to avoid mine collapses and stuff, too, so... I'm, like, trying to pay attention to where everything is. As I've, like I said, I've played it a few times. I've had a mine collapse uh, quite a few times because I wasn't paying attention. I'm going to expand that out some more because we're starting to get full of that. Um, all right. Let's expand this out a few more. Get the ore crushing. Get the ore crushing station going. We're going to see. And I'm going to make the pallet out of stone here. Same thing, I'll make this pile out of stone. And I'm just gonna chop this away right here. Hopefully it doesn't collapse and kill somebody. Yeah, I don't know what the strength like this right here is technically under a mountain. So I'm trying to figure out what the strength of this stuff is, so I'm digging out like one little section at a time. Trying to make sure I don't like. This is a trading post when the traders show up, just in case. Because I've had a trader show up before and I didn't have it ready, so. And I gotta build a bridge eventually, too, because I wanna get across to this stuff here. I don't know if I have enough wood to build a bridge, though. So. I mean, I could build it out of stone. I might do that. I think I can build a bridge out of stone. Let me see. Yeah, actually you do. Yeah, you can build out of stone. Yeah, we'll do that. Build a bridge out of stone so I can chop more trees down over here. There's trees over here I can I can farm. Because I don't have a whole lot here and I don't want to completely dismantle these ones. See. A little mining right there. A little right there. Okay, I've got a crazy thunderstorm that's going off. So, yeah, if uh, anything happens, I suddenly disappear on you guys. You'll understand. Hopefully. 
And let's see, I'll just chop those blocks too. I see, I don't know what effect losing the wagon has. So I'm hoping it's not bad. Alright, so let's see. This is what the import no, this this is the import pallet, so import four. Export crush door. Okay. And they'll just drop that over here, along with the rest of my finished products. No, give them a good excuse to use up some of this iron. I'm assuming it's copper. Okay. Oh, that's something new here. Ooh. I don't like this a different color. Um, yeah, one of the biggest things I have to worry about, because I don't have a military yet, if I accidentally open up the wrong spot here, I can be attacked by monsters. You know, like the Mines of Moria type situation. So, yeah, I gotta be very, very careful with that. Well, at least... Huh. Nobody's built the barrel or a cauldron for those places yet. It's my prio here. Yeah, let's uh let's get those done, please. Hopefully, hopefully they know how to make them. I don't know if making the ore crusher was a good idea or not. I gotta make a textile facility too. In order for me to make a textile facility, I have to start growing... Uh, growing stuff that will actually textile correctly. So, I may... I may, like, make another farm for that. It might not be a bad idea. I don't think about it. Yeah, let's plant a little bit of hemp that I got. And I'm going to just be safe and clear cut those two trees, even though I kind of shouldn't. But... Okay, and because I don't, again, I don't know how this works down here. Uh, that's not what I want. We're going to put a pillar down here just to be safe. I'll put one, like, right here. Just to be safe. So how, how's, your, how's your headache, by the way, Moon? I know you... I was kind of like semi lurking when you like when you hosted that one person, but I saw in there you said you had a headache. So hopefully he's feeling better now. Wait a minute, cancel that one. I'm gonna match it up with that one, so I'll yeah, we'll put it right there. Mm. All right, so let's see. We got that going. Where's it going to mine out some more stuff here? So let's go ahead and do that. Need more regular stone anyway. I say too, I forgot everybody's hauling for the uh, the bridge over here. I was like, where is everybody? I forgot I ordered the bridge to be built. I wonder if maybe that's why the barrel and stuff wasn't being built because of that and the fact I don't have any wood left. I got planks over here, so I don't know why. Do we have any logs laying around that I didn't see? Well, they chopped those down, so I should have some plain logs somewhere. Yeah. Hmm. 
Maybe my blacksmith is just being belligerent. Drink river water. Okay. Something just got struck by lightning out behind the house. I don't usually jump when lightning and thunder go off. That was like very, very close. I've been around lightning strikes way too much in my life to, to not notice it. That had that really weird like tinny echo to it, like something got hit. All right. Well, I've almost been struck by lightning twice in my life. So, and I've been very, very close to where lightning actually hits. Like I said, I know what I know what it sounds like when it hits something. Like when I when I was working, I want to say it was probably over ten years ago now. But I was working at the facility I used to work at, and there was a really bad thunderstorm. And I remember the lightning strike that happened. They hit the parking lot across from where we were, out in front of uh, TJ Maxx. Um, and I told everybody, I looked at everybody, I said, somebody just got hit by lightning. And they're like, how can you tell? I said, because there's a sound that thunder makes when it hits something that's ground level. And it's a very, very weird, like, echo that happens. And unless you've been around it, you don't always understand it. But yeah, I was like, yes. And, and then the next day, sure enough, they said, you were right. They said, a woman got hit by lightning, her and her kid out in the parking lot. I was like, yeah, don't ever tell me I don't know lightning. <laughs> That's I was sorry I was right, but I was like, at the same time, I'm like, yeah. So anytime, anytime we had a thunderstorm ever afterwards, it's like, let us know if lightning hits around here. Because <laughs> the, the couple times I did that, I was right. I scared the hell out of everybody, too. It was like how actually, like, I, I knew it. And I jumped that time too when I was at work. Like I dropped the stuff while I, that I was carrying it because I knew lightning hit something. Okay, why is the orange here? Huh. Alright, well, I'm fine with that. They haven't made this yet. So I must be missing something. Um... The kid wasn't too badly injured. The mom uh, lost her arm. Like they, uh, it like killed all the nerves in her body. <laughs> so she, they said that like her arm was paralyzed for the rest of her life. Because it went right through her umbrella into the arm that she was holding it. Freak, freak lightning strike. Like it was something that probably. Under normal circumstances, it wouldn't have happened. She just got unlucky. But she wasn't holding on to her kid when that happened. Uh, but they said, yeah, they said her kid was knocked out by the lightning strike, too. Just because, you know, you're that close to that much voltage, you know, your body's going to shut down. Getting splatterized by lightning is never cool. Can I grow wheat? Yeah, let's grow some wheat too. I'm gonna grow. I'm gonna plant just about all my seeds. I want to make sure my food is uh, going to be good. How are we doing on the bridge? Oh, is the bridge done? Nice. All right. So we go chopping some trees now. Uh, woodcutters will have some fun. Yeah. The closest I was to a lightning strike, um, I quite literally, when I was younger, when I was going, I was leaving a, a, the house of a guy I knew and walked by this tree and 
don't know, I'm like 30 feet from it, and then just boom, I'm on the ground. And I'm just tingling all over. I get up and turn around and the tree is just demolished. I'm surprised that the tree didn't fall on me and kill me. It happened to like fall like in angles that were away from me, but yeah, it was just kaboom. And he said being that close to it is the most hollow metallic sound like it never left my head. And it's just like a weird hollow metallic sound even though it hit wood. Just because it just it was like it was just like the sonic boom from like the you know from just that hitting. I, I didn't I didn't even feel it was that was the problem. Like, I mean, it was, you know, like, it was just there. It was just like, just like that. And I'm on the ground. And it's just like, you know, like I said, I, I got up, turned around. It's like, there's pieces of tree everywhere. And I'm just like, what the hell happened? I think the lightning bolt hit the other side of the tree, which is why I didn't feel it. And I think the, the tree literally ate it. If the, if, the, if I had been on the other side of the tree, I, it probably would have hit me. Because there was nothing else beside that tree that was there. That was very, that was like, like, you know, me being younger, it did freak me out a little bit, but like, if it would happen to me again, I would just I would just look at I would just look at the light the lightning strike area of funny be like what the fuck man. <laughs> Next time I have better aim. <laughs> I don't ever want to get hit by lightning, but that's just the reaction I would probably have for real. I would just be so upset that the dang thing came down on me. Okay, so we got some extra wood now. I just gotta be careful with my tree, tree chopping. Yeah, there's a couple of different things that happen right before lightning hits. That's one of them. You just feel this weirdness in the air, from what I'm told. And it's just like, I guess, you know, me being younger and doing what I was doing, I probably wasn't paying attention, probably did feel it. But, yeah, I was just like, I was I was lucky I didn't, didn't get... The thing is, yeah, we, yeah, we, we got like, here's the thing though, okay, we have um, a type of clay here that when it gets wet, really, really wet after like during the thunderstorm season, it is the most impossible thing to get out. You literally, it is almost like quicksand, like actually it's worse, I think, because you get stuck in that and all you hear is just like you get your foot gets in there and you take a step and you're fine. You take the next step is really slow and hard. The third one you hear this slurping sound, and then you're like, crap. <laughs> you get three steps in, you realize you're in trouble. And you're uh oh. No. Where did where did the clap oh god it claps right here? Damn it. See, that's what I was worried about. This is what I was worried about right here. I don't know where where the collapsing situation will happen. None of my people died, thankfully, but... Alright. Thankfully, none of my people died, but it did wreck my area here, so I'm going to have to, like, fix it. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm putting all these pillars up. I'm trying to make sure that stuff doesn't collapse on me, but... Okay, so it's roughly about this distance. So, one, two, three, four, five. So... This is almost like seven days to die. My my architecting ability from seven days to die is going to come in really handy here. So it almost has the same effect. It's like roughly about six or seven blocks in, and you have to put a support structure in to maintain it. So structural integrity... Yeah, so this block right here if i make it like a six by six block or a six by seven like this i should be fine 
But then again, I don't know the physics of this game well enough to know if that's the right amount. We're about to find out. Now, let's see. Is there anything else I can do? No, I don't even need this much room. I'm going to actually uh, do something here. Can I move that? Or do I, I'm going to have to like make another one. Uh, I forgot, how do you delete... Do that. Okay, now it's going to deconstruct it. And speaking of lightning, there's lightning in the game now. Okay, yeah, so there's the deconstruction. Um, traders! Alright, dismiss that. Cool. Traders are coming. I don't know where they are, though. Okay, there they are. Okay, cool. Um, is the chest ready? No, nope, the chest isn't. Oh god, the chest hasn't been built yet. Um, how do I build a bloody chest? I need a carpenter workshop, don't I? I don't need those spaces, so we'll just do that. Right, let's see. Um, let's see. I'm buying. What do I want to buy? Buy some seeds. And I'm going to sell some. So let's press door. Okay, uh, so we're almost about an hour into this so far. Um, I know not a whole lot's happening here because I'm not quite sure what's happening in the game. Um, but I do like the game. It's just very confusing to me because I'm not used to playing this style of game and I don't know if I'm doing things right <laughs> or not. So I'm having a little bit of difficulty with that right now. But uh, you know, overall, I'm finding this game to be a really kind of like chill. This is like, you know, Stardew Valley level of chill. I'm sure it gets intense later, like I because I, I, I know there's military things and there's like other crazinesses that can happen. So now I don't have a chest that I can build though, that's the problem. Okay, import pallet, uh plank, export pallet, uh chest. There you go. Okay, it looks like they are buying my stuff, but the money is going everywhere. Because <laughs> I don't have a chest to hold the money. <laughs> oh no, not again. Okay. 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 So that's too far out. I have to build a better, I have to build a better um, support structure. So we're going to go four. We're going to do that. All right, it's a learning process. It's a learning process, and I'm okay with the learning process. <laughs> as long as none of my settlers have died <laughs> in the collapse. 
That's the important thing. Nobody's died yet. My money is all over the place because I can't build a dang box. And this hasn't been... Oh. I may not be able to build this. I don't think I have the stuff to build it with. Uh-oh. Great, my money is everywhere. And my money is all over the ground. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Alright, you know what? Let's cancel this. Can I? Wait a minute. Can I buy a chest from you guys? <laughs> Do you guys have a chest? That I can buy. <laughs> Please. Please sell me a chest. <laughs> I hate it when you sneeze and then you got another one coming in the stops. It's just like weird. Yeah, the struggle is real right now. I'm having... Alright, let's see. We're gonna get rid of that tree and get rid of that tree and get rid of the sapling. What? Are you kidding me? Bro. What? This keeps collapsing. What's going on? Can I? Is it? Is the, what kind of support do I need here? Like, what do I need here? Why do you keep collapsing? All right, we'll try that. Wow. Wow, look at this. I'm full. Where can I put my money? I need money. I need that. I need that. I need that. Please, somebody help. <laughs> What's this here? Piece of granite, limestone boulder, okay. I think I need to do my best to reinvent and stitch a second. Uh, let's see. You're the stonemason, you're the blacksmith. Do I need another stonemason or something? Did I take you off from mining duty and change you to a stonemason? Let me try that. I don't know if I need a second blacksmith. Oh, you haven't fished at all yet, so... I'm gonna make you... a second... I don't know if that's really gonna help. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm struggling now. I'm like, I don't know what the hell's going on down here. I don't know why this keeps collapsing on me. I'm just glad nobody died and it collapses. Alright. Alright, Mr. Stonemason person. And why is it that one particular section? So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna build all those new pillars. And they're leaving. I didn't get the chest today. Alright. So I'm gonna leave that up to buy a chest. Because apparently I need to construct one. And I'm gonna see if maybe I get lucky and am able to actually build this at some point. So this says you need maple. 
Can I switch this to another material? No. Well... I got a megaton of copper here. Megaton of stone. Most of my stone blocks are gone because I'm, like, using them for other stuff. Let me see. Go chop some trees. Go chop two trees over there. And then we'll do that. I'll have them clear some bushes too. Alright, so let's see here. I think I think the uh the thing that caught fire over here was How do I I don't know, how do I deal with that? And the mushrooms I'm not touching on purpose. Because once you touch the mushrooms, um, yeah. I don't know why these aren't being built. Oh, my money is everywhere. Look at this. All this money lying on the floor everywhere. All right, they've almost got enough stone down here. See, I'm worried about clearing this now because of the collapsing. But let's see. Yeah, that water barrel trick is actually handy. So even though that's technically a kitchen, it's just a water barrel, which is really, really cool. How do you fish in this game is my thing. I need a fishing rod, I think. But I don't know how to make a fishing rod. Or maybe I can, I just... You know what, I'm gonna take... We're gonna just shut that off. Because I can't build anything here. I'm so confused right now. Has so much ore over here. We're actually gonna stop this for right now. I don't want them working on crushing any more ore at the moment. I was selling it, but I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop selling it and just hold on to it for now. There's a lone log right there. Alright. Let's see, I did mark a couple of trees over here to be chop chopped. But we're gonna chop a tree here, we're gonna chop a tree here. I'm just trying to chop like a tree or two at a time. I got a feeling I need more wood than that. I can't remember, Moon. Have you actually played Rimworld before or something similar to that? I can't remember if you have. I know a couple of people that we know have that I've watched. Okay, there's a cauldron right here. Why won't it go over here? Why aren't you guys putting the cauldron in place? I literally have a cauldron. Alright, I don't need that, but why is the cauldron not... Can we please, like... One of you buggers, please put the cauldron in. Alright, let's cancel that. Let's try this again. Put the cauldron in. Right there. And I'm going to set this on high priority. Yeah, I'm like, I've got a cauldron. Put it in the feasting hall so we can make soup, please. You goofy bastards. Alright. Okay, so here we go. I got all those in. Alright, we're gonna get rid of this. Oh, 
And I'm going to put... I can't put that in until they clear the rubble. Okay. Now you all better clear this rubble correctly. Yeah, I don't, know. I don't know what they're acting like right now. They're being goofy. Parrot? Alright. Hasn't been watered recently. So the bridge was a good idea. It gets more wood there. I don't know if bushes give me wood when I trim them down. I'm assuming no, but who knows. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on right now. Slept on rough ground. Well, I can't do anything about the ground until you buggers actually make stuff that I need so I can actually make stuff that you want. You understand? Textile workshop. All right, I am growing hemp, but I'm not gonna. I don't know. Can I can I make this out of stone? Yeah, I can make this out of stone, so we can do that. What about this? Okay. I don't need those tiles. So that's the part of the reason why I like to build those like that, just to see what they're what they're gonna need. Alright, we're gonna put one each pallet here, like we always do. And they're made out of stone, so it's fine. Okay. You know what, and just to be safe, I'm gonna put another bloody pillar right here. Alright. Now, if this bloody thing collapses on me again, <laughs> There's gonna be some fighting horses with me and the developer. <laughs> By the way, Rocket Jump Tech, I'm, I'm not gonna have fighting horses with y'all. I'm just gonna be very, very frustrated. Alright. Okay, good. That's what. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three. So right here, if I dig out this line, I have to put pillars there according to what's going on. So I can dig this line out safely, supposedly. Supposedly, I'm going to test this theory now. If I dig out this line, will it collapse? Well, they built the textile thing just fine. Like, what? What the blark? Now, whenever they get the hemp fiber, make make a uh, oh rope. Oh, well, make linen linen so I can build bed at some point. Whenever the hemp becomes available. Where's the hemp? This is the hemp. What do we got for seeds down here? Nothing. I'm gonna be a broke boy. <laughs> I can put another. I can put another buy pallet in here. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna put another buy buying pallet in here. We're gonna make it out of stone though. Okay, we can we can go back to crush. Let's see. We can go back to crushing the ore. All right, it didn't collapse. Okay. 
It didn't collapse this time. So I am going to build another set of pillars here. And we're going to see. I'm going to dig out another four spaces from there. And pray that I don't unleash a Balrog. This is probably going to go old Lord of the Rings on me. I'm going to be like, I'm getting greedy over here. Balrogs are going to come out, and then I'm going to have to wait for a couple of hairy foot midgets and a, an old man with a long beard with a smoking problem. And someone that likes to cosplay uh, a pretty Vulcan. <laughs> Talk about the Lord of the Rings, guys, please. Don't, 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 don't be offended. There's been enough jokes about Aragorn and Legolas and Gimli and the Hobbits. We've had jokes for years about them. And how are we doing over here? Uh, let's see, most of my veggies... Most of my veggies are growing. I wonder, would it help if I put another water barrel here? Like, 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 like that would matter, but... Okay, why have you turned buckets not put the cauldron in the feasting hall? Or is it because when it cooks, then they take it over there? See, that's the thing I don't, I don't understand. That's the thing I don't understand. I don't know if they have any food to cook, though. That's the thing. How are you doing on food, by the way? 199 rations left. Okay. So we're not going to starve yet. Do I need more room for tools? Just to be safe, I'm going to add a couple spaces here. I don't know if that lantern is actually going to be built. I don't know if I have any tin left, so... Okay, what is this? Iron... Where do we get iron plates from, guys? And I, I wish I could drag and drop this myself. Nice, I don't know how that works. I'm going to, I'm going to wait and see. Okay. Are all the pillars been built? Okay. The pillars have been built. So I'm assuming I can go out all the way like this, not kill everybody. You make a lot of assumptions for somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. And uh, don't want you there. Get rid of you, and get rid of you. Well, it's certainly been an interesting game. I, say, I, think the, I think the biggest problem I have with it is... I, I don't know if that's just the way the genre works, but... It feels very, very, like... Guesswork. Like, at least with certain other games that are built along the lines of, like, you know, like, building up and stuff like this. Like, I've played some Civilization Builders, and they've always been a little bit more directed. This one's kind of, like, not so directed, so it's, like, a little confusing on what the hell you're supposed to do. I don't even know if I'm doing things I'm supposed to be doing yet. Or if I'm just totally being a, a, a psychopath here and, like, just doing things backwards. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I 
I could very well be doing the entirely wrong thing right now. Yeah. I don't know. At least I, I'm, I'm just... I'm guessing as I go. I mean, we're in summer. We're almost at the end of summer in the game. And I don't know if I have enough food to survive. <laughs> Winter. <laughs> Because I'm told winter's pretty rough. I don't even... My person that... My person that I set up to be fishing hasn't fished yet. Because I don't know how to get them to fish. So, there's that problem. And I don't know if I'm supposed to be building anything else here. Like... Let's see. I mean, I'm growing... This says I'm supposed to be growing wheat, but I don't see any wheat. I don't know what my farmers are doing. Yeah, I have no clue. I have no clue! Okay, so they did manage to build another lantern, so we did have some tin somewhere. They hollowed that out very well. So the miners are doing okay. So far. I don't know if I'm doing this right. <laughs> um... Let's clear those. Let's clear all this. Let's clear all those bushes out and see what happens. Uh, my 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 farmers aren't. You know my okay farmer chef chef farmer fishing. I'm gonna take the blacksmith off of this one. There's no point. Oh yeah, let me go ahead and hit save. Anyway, just to make sure. Empty head, empty feelings. Don't know what I'm doing here. Why is my money still out here? I don't want my money out there. Um. Can I buy a fishing rod? Well, yeah, I can't make a fishing rod because I can't seem to finish this. Uh, so that's a masonry workshop. A smithy? Alright, so I need to make the smeltery. Now, I've been told the smeltery can catch fire. Mushroom farm. Oh, yes, I too. I gotta farm the mushrooms. All right, let's, let's take a chance on the mushrooms, guys. I'm going to clear them, and I'm going to build a mushroom farm. God, I hope I don't get a poison mushroom in this. Oh, too late. I, I, I hope one of those isn't poison. All right, mushroom farm, mushroom farm, mushroom farm. Mushroom farm it is. And put the mushroom farm here. Alright. Shop tank. And mushroom logs. We grab those mushrooms. Okay. What is this dude hauling right there? What the? Oh! Those are the. Oh! That's interesting. <laughs> That's interesting. But why did you drop the mushroom crate outside of the food thing? Well. 
Hello? Uh oh, are they actually? Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, they're gonna cook the mushrooms. Oh boy. <laughs> I hope this doesn't end badly. Oh. I'm so scared right now. <laughs> I might have killed my entire colony. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which ones. I might have killed my entire colony here. I don't know which mushrooms are good or not. I don't know. Oh god, the one, <laughs> the one with the weird name is on there. <laughs> oh well. We're all in. We're all in on the mushroom y'all. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And we don't have any logs to build uh, the mushroom thingies, so we're gonna have to like cut some trees. All right, smash the big trees, smash the big trees. Let's get some logs. <laughs> God, I'm so terrified. Oh no, this chef's got two big batches of mushrooms. He's making soup. He's making mushroom soup. Oh no. What have I done? <laughs> what have I done? Oh, okay, so it's automatic. I see. All right, so the cauldron does move from one to the other. Okay. What have I done, ladies and gentlemen? Have I just killed everybody with the with the poison mushroom soup? <laughs> I don't know. I'm so terrified right now. Purple helmet mushroom soup available. Twelve servings. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm so nervous about this one. I'm so horribly terrified about this soup right now. I'm so horribly terrified. And why are oh? Oh god. Oh, let's see if I poison my people to death. <sighs> Maybe they'll be fine. They'll be fine. It's fine, he said. I haven't got a thing that says anybody died yet. It's autumn. Oh. oh, guys. Day 22 of autumn. Winter is coming. I hope my farmers finish. I hope my farmer. Oh God! Am I? Am I actually going to be ready? Am I like screwed? Have I just condemned everyone to death because they can't grow vegetables fast enough? Can I put more water barrels out here? I don't know. 
Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm screwed. I think I think I just killed my entire colony. Five servings of soup left. Hmm. Ah. Well, if I kill my colony, I kill my colony. I, mean, I can't really do anything else about it. If they die, they die at this point. I really like, I don't know. Food store is bare. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're screwed. Yeah, Chico, I'm gonna have you be the third farmer. Might be too late for this, but I'm gonna make you the third farmer. Maybe maybe adding a third farmer to the mix might save some stuff. I like these way too much. Ever since I stopped drinking like regular soda, like I've been drinking those instead, and I like this way too much. I'm glad my um, I'm glad I keep getting coupons from my grocery store for those. So I don't even pay full price for them. They're so good. They were out of the flavor I really like. Honestly, chat, I, I I think I might have killed everybody. I don't know when it turned autumn on me. It's it was summer. It was spring. It's autumn already. All right, so we're about an hour and a half into this. I think. When did? Yeah, so it's eight eleven. Yeah. We're almost about an hour and a half into this, so... Um, so it was, a, so it was a one year, roughly about like two hours or so, then? It's interesting. Please, corn. Please, corn! <laughs> Please, some of my vegetables! Oh, the carrots are almost ready! Maybe I won't die! <laughs> We'll have to live off of carrot soup. Oh no. Uh oh. Elk Spain, Melatonia, and <laughs> that crazy. Uh oh.
Please forgive me, I did not mean to kill everybody with the bad batches. I didn't... I didn't mean to kill everybody with soup. <sighs> I'm so scared I've actually killed everybody with this batch of soup. And there it is! There it is, the uh... The mixed mushroom soup. <laughs> Three shroom soup, y'all. Yeah, there's still logs way the hell out here, so my haulers have to like literally haul ass. Oh dear. What's this? Gems? I don't what is it, sandstone? Okay. Unexplored. Stone, more copper. At least my miners are like fine. My like, yeah, guys, fine down here, man. It's like no problem at all. And we're just happily smashing ore and doing crazy things. We can't even build the stuff we need. I feel like I'm screwed, so I, I feel like I'm screwed, quite honestly. I'm so screwed, bros. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so screwed. Oh, what is this? Unexplored. <sighs> Bye. Oh, what we got? Two carrots! Oh! We, we actually have carrots. We actually have carrot soup, ladies and gentlemen. We have carrot soup. <laughs> we will not die of hunger right away. We may not die of hunger. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, oh god. Did I plant the hemp too late? I'm going to be so upset if I planted the hemp too late. Yeah, I got this one hauler that it takes so long for them to drag the logs. That's one badass old dwarf right there. They're just like, yeah, I'm gonna run like a couple of miles with logs on my back. I had soup. He's like, yeah, we're just gonna grind all this copper down because why not? Okay, so this is definitely underground or at least covered because I haven't seen any rainfall here, so. Oh. Bushels and bushels of copper. There's so much copper there. Let's see, do I want to make a smelter? Fuel refinery produces fuel from logs or coal. Yeah, I don't have any coal, so... Twelve carrots. <laughs> Yay. We have twelve carrots. Uh, 
<sighs> How did the time go so fast in this game? Maybe I have, well, yeah, well, I have been playing it on warp speed for some parts, so. I kind of want to see what's going to happen. Has anybody died from the soup yet? Has anybody eaten the soup yet? No? Oh, we got carrot soup now. Okay, so apparently all those mushrooms weren't lethal. So. Cool. The mushrooms were fine. The mushrooms were fine. Do we, how are we doing on the logs? Have you brought all of them back yet? Nope, there's one more all the way out there. Come on, go patch that log. <laughs> yeah. Trainers have arrived. Okay, cool. Cool, maybe now the trainers will suck me a chance like to pull my money away. <laughs> Alright, um... I want to sell... I'm gonna sell the crushed door. Let's see. Let's see if they'll buy it. We got crushed door. I need a chest. I need a fishing rod. Please have them. <laughs> Please have them. Oh, they're buying all of my... Yeah, the money is just going everywhere. <laughs> the money is just being thrown all over the ground. All right, how much? All right, I need to stop selling that for now. Please, I want to buy this stuff. Do you have these things? Quick, I'm gonna build another buy pallet. Why don't they have... Okay, so you've got a battle axe, some armor, and a water skin. You've got... You guys don't have a chest, so... Is, that, is there any way to see exactly what they have? Okay, so, yeah. I don't think they have anything. I want. Is it just the two of them? Let's see what happens if I say I want to buy the, I want to buy the uh, battle axe. Let's see how if I say if I want to buy her battle axe if she'll actually put it on there for me to buy.
I said, how do you see what they have for sale? Okay. Um... Bro. What? What rusted away? What happened? What rusted? Is it this? What happened? I don't get it. I should have, uh, I gotta, I gotta cover stuff. Oh, it might be this. I forgot, I gotta, how do you cover stuff again? I said, I gotta build a roof here. All right, let's see. No. That's not what I want. That's not what I want. Stop hitting that. Okay, there we go. I screw this up again. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I need to put them like that. They gotta move everything around so the pillars can be constructed. And once the pillars are constructed, I can put a roof over that. Demolish this one because I didn't mean for that one to be there. All right, now that we did that, I can put roofing over this section. Oh, a new type of tree. There's no tree. Okay. And... Gotta go chopping some more logs here, so we're gonna... We're gonna eat up a few trees here.
and do a little of that. Now, according to the way this works, oh yeah, they're roofing that up real fast. So once this gets completely covered, it will protect everything underneath. So the way the, I know that the roofing has to be like every three pillars has to have a roof. Can I put a roof there? I don't know why it's yellow and pink over here. Okay, I, I can't put a roof here and I can't put a roof here. Okay. Yeah, so if I try to put a roof here because that's already covered on the ground, that's fine. Okay. I, that's, I just want to make sure. Alright. Alrighty. Hmm. And the same thing for this. I've got to, like, cover all this stuff up. So. I may have to do some... Do some shenanigans here so I can cover this up with the roof properly. The same thing, the part of this is like right here. I think I have to cover that with the roof. Right, yeah, so I gotta cover this part up with the roof somehow. I think. I may just move the stone mace thing entirely over down here. That might be the way to go. Okay, so it's completely covered up. Right, so none of that stuff is going to get wet now. There's like a little dark, a little darkness right there because of the roof. Okay. All right, so let's see. This part means it's covered. Hmm. Okay, so let's uh, so let's do a little mining here. I'm gonna like. All right, let me actually let me put a. Actually, hold on. Let me see something again. I could, I could do, I could move the stone mason under here. Yeah, I could move the masonry workshop like down here. I could like site, like do something like that. Yeah, there's not enough room to put the bench if I do it like that. Well, I could rotate it. 
we rotate it like that. And I could do that. So I could do that, and then I can dismantle the one up here. We'll demolish. We'll demolish all this stuff. Yeah, we'll do that. Demolish all that stuff, put that down here. We got some logs over here, but I still need some more wood. Knock out that one. Knock out that one. Still need slightly more wood. Alright, so. So, yeah, putting this down here, that'll protect all that stuff because it's technically inside the cave. I just have to make some lights there. Can demolish that one. Yeah. I think I think I'm starting to understand this. I might not have it exactly right, but I think I understand it now. Okay, so yeah, we do that. And the same thing for the wood cutter. We can put it down here somewhere. See, the food thing, I'm going to have to change the way this looks. So we're going to go like this instead. Then we're going to delete that part. Okay. And I don't need a huge amount of space for that, so we can... Make another sawmill right here. We do that. We make ourselves a sawmill right here. A little lantern right there. Hmm? Oh, we, oh, we got potatoes! Yes, yeah, so now I can kind of move everything under the mountain. And that'll protect all that stuff. that section out. Cancel that. Cancel that. Make sure you hit demolish. 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 And remove all those tiles. And remove the tiles. Yeah. All right. Okay. 
I think I'm starting to finally figure this game out. <laughs> I say that, and I'm going to probably set everybody on fire or something. Now, the stockpile is fine where it's at. Once I clear all this stuff out... Oh, look at the damn... That's going to suck because I was going to demolish all this. Oh, Lord. They just got done building it and we're destroying it. Because I have a dummy. Let's see. Uh, so I'm going to actually change the sleeping area. I actually changed the bedroom to this right here. And then this, we're just going to delete all that. This will expand. This will expand out. Dude is just going to sleep on the ground. Because <laughs> I'm a meanie that way. Actually, I'm going to change the entire shape of this. Uh, we're going to go actually put it all up this way. We're going to delete this whole section here. And then I'm going to, let's see, i got to put the carpentry workshop back in here. So we're going to try to do it like right here. Something like that. Um, you gone. And build a couple more pillars right here. Okay. I gotta post this video to YouTube soon, so I'm probably going to like. Hi, right, it's winter day one. It says day 31 winter. Huh, I don't know how the years work in this game. Alright, so... I just want to see if what I'm planning is actually going to work. Alright, so we can put the carpentry workbench right there. Put the pallets right there. Alright, we actually don't need all of that, so we can go like right there like that. And I'll put another lantern like right here because I want people to be able to see what the f they're doing. Alright. Okay. So moving all this stuff underground here. Oh wow, yeah, look at the snow. Oh my god. Alright. Import pallet, plank, then up for The same thing with all the cooking stuff, I gotta move it in here. So let's make a new kitchen in here.
demolish that one plant in there. Take out that row of tiles, okay. And then, oh yeah, see right there, there's the roof. You can tell there's a roof right there. Okay, cool. All right. Kitchen. We're just going to do that. Bloop. All right. Yeah, this is cool. Oh, you just actually playing? I'm not surprised. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Vita was playing it too. I mean, a lot of a lot of us have been playing it on and off. All part of the community. Oof. Okay, I'm taking this thing off. I wear a belt around my, my midsection sometimes too to help my posture a little bit. It keeps me from slouching too much. But it makes me sweaty. Yeah, I, I want to. I want to move. Actually, yeah, it's being removed. All right. Thunderstorms during the winter. Okay. All right. So let's see here. Import uh, stone. Export blocks. Import ore. Export crushed ore. Nice. <laughs> Good job, Eda. Logs and planks. There you go. All right. Let's see here. All right. Now here I need to make the import and export pellets and build myself the lantern there. And now I want to put the dining hall in here. The feasting hall. The feasting hall has to be pretty big though to accommodate the table. Place for the cauldron will go here. I'll put the beer tapper here for the eventual eventual beer tapper. Alright. Then we can and now we can eliminate this. And this thing I'm going to eliminate because, yeah, I need to, I'm going to move that over here too. We got, oh, that's the meat, okay. Okay. I make a new stockpile room here. So there's a one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, seven. Okay, so seven by seven. Another seven by seven. Make another seven by seven there. Okay. 
We'll build the pillars. Alright. Okay, so uh, I'm going to post that part to YouTube, and then next time I stream this, we'll pick this up from where I left off. But yeah, um, I ran a little bit longer than I was thinking, but I kind of got absorbed in there. This is the type of game that really gets your brain going, so I, 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 like, I, I, I like it. And he says, it's, it's a little like, there's not... I played the tutorial, and the tutorial really doesn't like... It, it gives you like the real bare bones. I think they kind of expect you to kind of muck your way through it, which I'm mucking my way through it right now. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, mechanically, the game seems to do what it's supposed to do. Like, it, it, a couple of the situations in the game made me wonder, like, why things weren't happening until I figured out the mechanics. So, there's a couple of mechanics in the game that took me a little figuring out, but I like it. It's a good brain teaser. Um... Um, yeah, there's, like I said, there's, a, there's a lot to absorb in this game. Like I said, I'm not used to this genre of game. There's similarities to other things I've played, so I'm kind of figuring things out as I go along. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to playing it more, definitely. So, I'll probably, I'll probably pick this up again on my next stream because I really want to, like, dive into this a little bit more. And then I, I was told year two you get more settlers and stuff happening, so then the colony is going to get bigger. <laughs> so there's going to be some interesting things there. But yeah, again, uh, shout out to uh, Rocket Jump Tech. Thank you very much for giving me the key. I appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, and if anybody else um, wants to pick up the game, like you see, you can look up Mountain Corn on Steam and. Later when I post this video to YouTube, everything will be in the description box down below, but yeah. We're gonna end this particular part of my stream here, so. Catch y'all next time. <laughs>